All right, so I wanted to make another video just to kind of show something that not too many people are familiar with. A lot of people buy these solar trailers, but they don't know how to maintain them. Uh, this video is going to be on maintenance of your battery system, which is really important because those things are super expensive. So a couple of the things that you'll need are a pair of needle nose pliers, and you can see some distilled water right here. The reason you'd use distilled water is because it doesn't have all the impurities that normal water has, and so they recommend using that on it. As you can see, my solar trailer, I took it off the trailer. Um, the reason for it is, is because we use it for a cabin, which is right here, and it's always going to be right here. It's going to stay in the same spot, and by taking it off the trailer, I was able to sell the trailer and make 3500 bucks off the trailer, so it decreased the cost of the the end result cost of the trailer by you know, significantly. So what we'll do is we'll go around back because that's the easiest access point. And we'll show you how to do maintenance on your, on your batteries. They recommend six to 12 months, but it seems like it also depends on how much you use your trailer is how often you have to fill your battery. Right back in here. I'll hold the camera for a minute while my wife Climbs back in here, and we'll show you these batteries. So these are your battery systems. You access it by just opening the little plates on top. Super, super simple. And like I said, a pair of needle no nose pliers makes it really, really easy. And so if you look at it, these are your terminals. These are where you would fill. And the reason it's important to do this is because these batteries are so expensive. And if you have one go bad, these are... These are press, pressed on there, and it's almost impossible to get them off and get them back on. So what you do is you take your pliers and you twist them. That just saves a little skin off your fingers. I've already done a couple of them. But some of them get really, 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 really hard to open. So the pliers make a, a big difference. You know, someone smarter than me would probably say, yeah, you should probably have on some, some plastic gloves or... Maybe some eye protection or something like that, but I, I wish I was smarter. So as you look in here, take the cap off. It's hard to see, but inside here there's there's lead plates and there's a little black flange at the top of the battery that goes down about an inch or about that far. And so what you want to do is you want to take your water and you want to fill that that battery up right to where it hits that plastic flange and covers those plates. And like I said, mine I probably should have maintained them a little bit a little bit sooner because they're they're a lot drier than they probably should be. So right there to that point and all you do is repeat that process and then after you're done make sure that all your your caps are back on and tight. If you fill them up over that point, they can spill out or cause, you know, other problems uh, when they when they get fully charged. But hopefully this video helps you feel a little bit more confident about how to maintain your battery pack so that your trailer lasts longer. And thanks for watching.